Stage 1 is where fresh and new GTA Online players begin their ventures into crime on the streets of Los Santos. They have the entire world map at their feet, and countless choices laid before them. They're met with hundreds of cars that they can't wait to buy, properties they're just itching to own, as well as the growing desire to build their criminal empire. This is one of the best times to be a GTA Online player, given every scrap of content is a new experience. Even the smallest missions unlocked from Lamar or Martin Madrazo or even Robin Liquor Stores will be an enjoyable and fun experience to complete at this stage. Anything they do, any experience they have, will be new and enjoyable to them. With a few exceptions, of course. <laughs> Stage 2 is where players will know but one thing. That they indeed know almost nothing. Whilst they have a basic grasp of the core ideas that form the gameplay of GTA Online, such as the need to earn money to purchase the oh so elusive cars and properties they dream of one day owning, at this stage they have no idea how they can go about earning it. In this stage, they'll likely create their own fun, on their own or with random players in matchmaking doing things such as races or deathmatches. At this point, these activities will likely be their sole source of income, and they might buy their first cheap apartment with the money they have earned, as well as maybe grabbing a car off the street and customising it in Los Santos Customs. However, they recognise other players on flying bikes and jets and, um, and, and, and more flying bikes who can easily wipe them out with a push of a button. They understand that they have yet got a long way to go in the game. Oh and by the way, only a noob would not subscribe to the channel so, so be sure to click on that subscribe button, it will be very nice. Stage 3 is when the player decides to jump headfirst into the activities that they will be spending the rest of their time in the game in. This is the stage where the new player finally starts to become and is able to say they're a regular GTA Online player. They will grow a genuine strive to learn the game's mechanics, and they know they're going to be playing this game for the long haul. They'll look at YouTube videos on how to earn money to buy the things they want, sometimes falling into the money glitch rabbit hole, but for the most part, they learn a basic method for earning money with the limited resources they have at hand. This is around the time they will reach level 120 which is the maximum start for earning new rewards, unlocks, and most importantly, getting your health stat up to the max. And throughout their time playing, just in the background, they would have likely maxed out their stamina as well as making good progress into other stats, such as driving or shooting. They might dip their toes into other things such as PvP, but likely immediately back straight out from this due to um, some balancing issues, deeming that PvP is probably not worth their time. Some, however, will perhaps enjoy the rush of beating their opponents, and start to pursue more fights more often. Whatever the player's opinion though, these encounters will likely shape the player's future playstyle within the game. At this stage, they may have also began to start making new friends they can rely on to grind money together in heists or other activities. Overall, the player will have become fairly comfortable with the basic ideas of the game, and they will begin to use these basic resources they have earned to head deeper into the game. Stage 4 is where players will set themselves up in their preferred area of the game that they enjoy and want to pursue the most. What I mean by this is essentially where the player will choose his favourite activity in the game, whether that's grinding, PvP, racing or otherwise, and begin their journey into becoming the best in this area. For example, with grinding, this is where the player will look up extensive grinding tutorials on YouTube. Shout out to the professional for single-handedly costing Rockstar millions in lost revenue, and they'll begin to purchase properties that they will use to grind their future millions. Also, this this is where the PvP players will begin to purchase the vehicles necessary to combat other players, such as jets like the Laser, Starlink and B-11, as well as armoured vehicles such as the Night Shark and Insurgent, and, uh, uh, well, the, the Mark II, uh, uh, of course. Whilst the player at this stage hasn't excelled in nor perfected their methods in their chosen activity, they know they're on the right path to greatness. Now, this is where the fun begins. The player at this stage knows what they need to do, what path they need to follow to achieve their end goals, and they have the necessary knowledge and resources to get there. All they need to do now is, uh, actually do it. This is where the majority of the player's time will be spent. In fact, you can argue that this stage never truly ends for people. For example, take a grinder. Their goal is to grind as much money as possible. 
until they've perhaps bought everything they want in the game, and they can earn money in the most efficient way possible. There is always more money you could earn. And then we can look at the PvP player for example. Whilst they may not grind in the most commonly known way, and by the most known definition, the grind they pursue is the grind to become the best at PvP. The grind they pursue is in practicing their aim, in learning spawns, or bettering their understanding of the mechanics to overcome opponents. The strive to become better is always present within every PvP player. So for these players, this stage too may never actually end. This is the stage in which the player has gained a true mastery of their chosen activity. Whether that's PvP, grinding, or anything in between, they can take on absolutely almost anyone and win. However, with this comes a depression. One very deep and uh, incredibly sad. Uh, this, this is so sad. You see, as the player learns more about the game, they learn that... Um, it, it, it's kind of awful. Over time, as they learn the ins and outs, they also learn the flaws within the game. The overpowered vehicles like the Oppressor Mark II, the Orbital Cannon. They learn about Rockstar's greed for shark cards and the numerous bugs and hackers. Some may quit at this stage of the game, or the next. However, those that stay will often sink into a deeper depravity. Stage 7 is where the player hits sicker mode, and they begin to maximise their efficiency in their chosen activity. Before, they were a part of the 99%, but now, they strive to become the 1%. This is when the PvP players become godly, and nobody clean can come close to beating them. And this is when the grinders can manage to gain like 40 million every single day no sweat. The player has absolutely perfected their chosen activity and have mastered everything it has to offer. However, with this comes a boredom, now that everything there has to be seen has indeed already been seen by the player. Stage 8 is when the player hits rock bottom. They're absolutely fed up and tired of doing the same things over and over and over again. The PvP players are tired of being DDoSed or booted or modded or um, killed in god mode in PvP. And the grinders are uh, tired of being DDoSed or booted or modded and killed in god mode whilst grinding too. This is when the player can snap and turn to the dark side forever. Now that they're tired of clean PvP or they're fed up of dirty players, they too may resort to modding or playing dirty themselves. This is where the likes of griefers or modders are born. They've done absolutely everything in the game already and all that's left for them to do is to become an absolute degenerate. This stage is in which players will truly decide whether they want to play this game or not. Whether the game's flaws outweigh any potential joy they may have, which is, uh, which is fair. Or they may choose to stick around for the community they've grown to care about, as well as the players they've encountered and the friends they've made along the way. Despite all the issues the game may have, they may realise that they want better for the game, not to tear it down completely. This is the stage in which the player has truly accepted GTA for what it is. They have access to everything they'd ever want or desire, items or money or otherwise, and they play the game for their own enjoyment at their own pace. They still may engage in their older activities like PvP or grinding to help others who are just starting their journey, just like they had so very long ago. But overall, they just play for nothing but fun. They've proven everything they've needed to over the long years of playing the game, and fun is always at the forefront of their mind. They may not condone nor justify any of the game's flaws, but they realise they can have fun despite them with the players they've met along the way. They realise that the game is a buggy mess and there is overpowered vehicles that may not ever be removed, but despite that, they can find fun in the game. This is when the player becomes truly enlightened. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, it was actually a lot of fun to look back over my time with GTA Online and reminisce over the old days. What stage do you think you're at right now? Where would you place yourself? Tell me down below in the comments and whilst you're there be sure to subscribe and of course, goodbye.